In this video, we're going to discuss kinetic and thermodynamic control. Kinetic and thermodynamic control is relevant for reactions with two competing pathways. Specifically, the two competing pathways must have what is called a thermodynamic product and a kinetic product. The thermodynamic product is more stable, but has a greater activation energy. The kinetic product is less stable, but has a lower activation energy. We can see how this works in this reaction coordinate diagram. We have reactants, and the reactants can go through two paths, this red path and this blue path. The red path results in the formation of the thermodynamic product. The blue path results in the formation of the kinetic product. As you can see, the reactants, it's the same reactants for both, so same energy, but the products, the thermodynamic products are more stable. They're at a lower energy state than the kinetic products, which are less stable and are at a higher energy. However, the thermodynamic products have a greater activation energy. If you look at the amount of energy that the reactants have to absorb to reach the transition state for the thermodynamic product, it's greater than the activation energy for the kinetic product. And as we know, activation energy is inversely related to the reaction rate. So that means the kinetic product is formed faster and the thermodynamic product is formed more slowly. However, this is a competing thought, right? Kinetic product is formed faster, which is good, but it's also less stable, which is bad. Whereas the thermodynamic product, it is more stable, which is good, but formed slowly, which is bad. And as it turns out, there are reaction conditions that can be altered to preferentially favor the formation of one of these two products. So for the kinetic product, you can favor the formation of this product if there is low energy. So if there is not enough energy to exceed the activation energy barrier for the thermodynamic product, then only the kinetic product can be formed. And second, if you have short reaction times, so there isn't time to form the thermodynamic product. So we say here the kinetic product is favored by low temperatures or favored with lower temperatures and short reaction times. The thermodynamic product is essentially the opposite. It is favored by higher temperatures and longer reaction times. So when you're encountering an MCAT question where there's more than one product that can be formed, you want to keep in mind, are there differences in the stability of the products? Are there differences in the activation energy? That might indicate that the question is asking about kinetic versus thermodynamic control, in which case you then want to think about the conditions. Did they use high or low temperatures? And were the reaction times short or long?